my channel. Lately, some of my photos on Instagram have gotten a very large amount of likes. And I started thinking about what it is exactly the things that make one photo get so popular and others don't. And there are for sure some themes and some things. Uh, and I wanted to share those with you guys. So, because I think knowledge is power and anything sort of snippets of information that we can share with each other, I think is for the overall good for everybody. Some of these are things that I researched and were sort of new to me. And others are observations that I made myself. Just sort of, I've noticed what kind of things usually work pretty well in getting the kind of big number of likes. Um, and again, this is not to say that you should ever do something just to get a lot of likes. Of course, your creative vision and sort of creativity always trumps, uh, I feel, popularity. But I think still when we put a lot of effort into our photos... Oh, it's so windy here. Stop wind! There are quite many videos out there that focus more on sort of techie aspects of it, you know, to use the right hashtags, to be consistent with posting, replying comments and going on other people's accounts and engaging and leaving comments. All those things are really important uh, just to gain traction and sort of have the algorithm favor you. These tips are more about what you can actually do in your photos and the content you put out there. And so they're very sort of actionable and are really sort of more about the creative aspect of the whole likability thing. All right, so if you're ready, let's get to it. Tip number one is to have bright and airy pictures. People generally like to know what they're looking at. So having a brighter and lighter picture, those usually tend to get more likes. I've definitely found this, that when I take a picture that has a very sort of light background, uh, it's also very easy to sort of show what's going on because you can create contrast to whatever the thing is. Darker and moodier pictures, you have to make more of an effort to see what's really going on. So then maybe people might just skip them and, you know, not get the like. The second tip is to shoot in four by five aspect ratio. So this was also something new for me, which I somehow had uh, not gotten the memo on. Uh, I used to always do my photos square, but when you think about it, if you do in 4x5, that is how the picture is going to take up the most space on the screen when people scroll on Instagram. And I've found now that I switched to that, so I try to make most of my photos instead of 4x5. And I don't know, they get more likes, so I don't know if it's that or if it's something else, but definitely a good tip to take into consideration. The third tip is single hue dominance. So this one was new for me. Single hue dominance basically means that one hue is dominant in the picture as opposed to having lots of different colors. Uh, there was a study made and pictures with single hue dominance did much better in likes and popularity than pictures with lots of different colors. And when you think about it, it sort of makes sense because when you're scrolling on Instagram, um, it can be quite chaotic with a photo with lots of different colors. So just having that single hue be dominant can help you focus and maybe you will spend more time with the photo and then double tap that little heart. How much do you like this backdrop? Oh my God. All right, tip number four is to have human presence in your photos. I think adding human presence just has that immediate connection and people can somehow relate to whatever is going on in the photo. Also, when you think about like landscape photography or flowers or these things, there's so many of those photos that it can be quite difficult to stand out. So I would urge you to try to, you know, what if you put yourself in that photo or take some photos with uh, people in them? I just have noticed that it has had a huge impact and it so happens I love to take some portraits. Number five is to have an easily readable thumbnail. So you know how when you go into Instagram to the explore page and the photos are really, really tiny. So try to make sure that the thumbnail size, even that one, is really clear. So at a glance, when somebody's looking, they get more curious and want to click that and see what's going on in the photo. Well, hello there. <laughs> Number six is to keep it simple. It was not simple getting up here, I can tell you that. Try having two to three key elements in your photo and avoid having too much busyness and clutter. Be intentional with the elements you have. That's your way to capture that viewer's attention and grab them. If it's too busy and distracting, they will just keep on scrolling and not get your double tap. Coming down. Oh my God. Ah! As you're right. Number seven is to add textures to your photos. My most liked photo on Instagram is this one. 
and as you can see it has a lot of texture it's almost when you're just looking at the photo you can still sense how the feeling of that paper and the dried flowers and the little sleeve of knit so it's all about creating that richness this was also uh, mentioned in the study so there they said that photos with more textures got more likes and i think that's because it sort of creates that um I think it adds that sense of depth to it and richness and a stronger feeling because you can sort of imagine how those things would feel uh, if you were there. Broadcasting from Hampstead Heath. No. Ah, okay. Oh my God. Tip number eight is to be mindful about your composition. Composition basically means how the different elements of the photo are in relation to each other. And it's so, so important to be really intentional with this because it really can make or break a photo. There is the rule of thirds, which I suggest you uh, check out if you don't know it about it already. Um, but then there's also just about sort of trusting your own instinct and your intuition and just trying to make that balance of the photo feel right. Um, I really like symmetry um, and that has kind of that Wes Andersonian vibe, like having everything very centered. Um, but it's really about finding your own style and it can really have a huge impact in how sort of striking the photo is and then how many likes it will get. Number nine is to desaturate your photos. This was also something that I read about that actually photos that are a little desaturated are more appealing to people. And I didn't know this, but I think it's also again something with that that it's not so popping and like aggressive with like oh these colors, um, but it's more calmness and desaturated and you can actually see what's going on in the photo. The last one, number 10, is to write an engaging caption. Even though Instagram is a visual platform, it's really worthwhile putting in some effort into the caption. It's really where you can build those connections with people, tell more about the photo, about yourself, and just sort of create that community around your account also, which will then lead to growth and will also lead to more likes. All right, so that were the 10 tips to get more likes on Instagram while remaining true to your style. I do not feel like I've really talked about remaining true to your style. Whoops. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I was a little hesitant to do this video actually, because I feel there's so many of sort of like how to get more followers and da 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 da. And often I think it's just they're repeating the same things over and over again. But then I thought, um, especially with some of these observations that also had some scientific backing of it, was really interesting and sort of to understand also psychologically what makes some photos just appeal to people more. I think that's super fascinating. And then I thought, I really want to share that with you because if that is something that you're aspiring to do and maybe you're wondering about, you know, like the more knowledge you have, the better. Uh, I would like to hear what you thought about these. Do you agree? Have you found the same things? Or what kind of photos do you notice that get more likes and which maybe don't work so well? Uh, so comment below. Also, uh, check out my Instagram at Kudovakika and come hang out there. I am there a lot. <laughs> um, also subscribe and like my video and come back next time. Bye!